ladies and gentlemen, this is AK reporting from on the high speed rail. Well, it's actually not called the high speed rail, it's called something else. Though it's still pretty damn fast, around 250 to 300 kilometers per hour, and we are going to one of the ancient cities that's literally right to the north. Uh, well, then again, I think about it, it's actually not very ancient. It's about two hours and a half to the north. That's the, that's basically where the Communist uh, Party of China had a military base for about 10 years, and that's where they staged all the attacks and takeover of China. So that's not really the purpose of the trip, though. I'm actually going to... Uh, where am I going? I'm going to a place that's not so far from there, but... It's a nice fall of the Yellow River, I'm not sure what it's called, so I hope that's going to be a worthwhile trip, but most importantly it's just something to take off my mind. I've been doing a lot of homework and I am just going crazy. Weather is not very nice, but at least it's no longer the summer heat. Uh, it's around 20 degrees. Uh, nice, we can actually see some mountains after the rain yesterday because uh, the smog has finally dissipated. It's about all for now, see you next time ladies and gentlemen. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Vega reporting from Yan'an, northern Shanxi province. We just arrived at a local restaurant. There are only four tables. And uh, one of their specialty dishes. So it's fried. I'm actually not sure what this is made out of. It's like um, uh, sticky rice. Sticky rice cake. Um, but not really, it's made of something else. Some other sort of grain and it tastes so awesome. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Aker reporting from Baotashan. And we are on the tower of this hill. So uh, I just want you guys to check out, this is how thin the stairs are. And it's really narrow and steep. It gets steeper and narrower the farther we go up. Um, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys. Uh, yeah, it's just around my shoulder width, and uh, there's like nine flights up. Uh, and now we are coming down here, trying to get out of this tower. And this is how skinny the walkway is. Um, yeah, it gets a little dark. Again, it's uh, just a little over my shoulder width, all the way down. Are going down now. Yeah, if, um, I'm guessing if you're even slightly overweight, you're not gonna be able to squeeze through. Actually, it's even narrower than my shoulder width, and I'm a pretty skinny guy at around 130 pounds. And uh, I don't remember my height though. So it's a little bit hard for us to get up and down from here. We are almost down now. I'm gonna watch myself a little bit. Nobody comes up here almost for a tower like this. A uh, pagoda, actually. So, not really much of a point. There's nothing special about And we are out. Yeah. That's how it looks like. Not too tall, but it's cool. Now we are on our way to the next destination of this trip. Uh, I actually don't know where we're going, so I'll talk to you guys later. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is AK reporting from Nanyuan and I don't really know the significance of this place. I think it might have been a place of war uh, victories for the Communist Party at some point. Then again, I have no clue. Uh, looks nice though, looks almost exactly like the outskirts of Taipei, and yeah, this is it. It's in the middle of a countryside, I'm not really sure why we stopped here. And uh, I think we're gonna be making a few more stops like this. Perhaps the main reason is um, the driver wants to take a break, because he's been driving for a while for the day. I don't know. Yeah. That's it for now. So uh, I just researched a little bit on the significance of this location. 
Essentially, during the earlier days of the revolution and uh, earlier days of the People's Republic, this place used to be a piece of crap with absolutely nothing in it, growing in it, and it smelled horrible, uh, but then somebody came here and said, yeah, we can turn this place upside down and change it into a more productive, fertile land, and this is what happens. It, uh, they def definitely did a good job of that. Now it's full of crops, and it's supposedly the... Uh, wow, my head's not working now. It's supposedly the south of the north, northern Shanxi province. Basically, they're just saying this place has become so fertile and productive, it's, uh, it's not really supposed to look like this originally. Yeah, I'm not really sure what really happened. But still, it's as good as uh, research I can do within the last couple of minutes. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Aiko reporting from Huangtugabo, or the Yellow River Plateaus if I remember my terminology correctly. A great geological feature unique to this region of Shanxi, northern Shanxi province. And there are a lot of tourists here, so we are going to make our way to the edge of the cliff. And hopefully I don't die from here. Yeah, everybody's taking a video and whatnot, so I'm a little scared about this. Hold up, we are good, we are good. Uh, yeah, and this place is actually filled with fruit trees, farms, whatnot. Plenty of corn planted in these regions. Now, um, stereotypically speaking, they are supposed to be barren, and because uh, it's Yellow River, it's supposed to be really yellow with a river. We'll, we are actually going to be at the Yellow River Falls soon, so um, that's going to happen in an hour or so. It's a beautiful place to be, although a little scary, to be honest. Um, I think it's around 2,000 meters above sea level around here. Could be wrong though, I should probably check that when I get back. That's it for now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is AK reporting from Hukopubu, or the Falls of Yellow River. Beautiful place, crazy yellow water. There's a reason why it's called Yellow River, and this is why it's, the uh, ground is full of phosphorus, so it's very easily washed away. Uh, I'm gonna take a few photos of this place. It probably was in a lifetime that I'm gonna come here. Uh, people are just crowding around, taking pictures, which is normal. It's in China, that's fine. So to the other side, right across from the Yellow River, that's Shanxi Province, and we are here in Shanxi Province. It's spelled the same in Chinese, but spelled differently in English and pronounced very differently in Mandarin in Chinese. Considerably different from Niagara Falls, obviously. This is Yellow River. And we will be exploring a little bit farther towards the falls itself. Surprisingly, the falls uh, is quite uncontrolled. We can see a bit of it overflowing down on this side to where the tourists are, uh, unprotected. But we can get a little closer down here. And those are the actual falls of Huko, the largest falls in Yellow River and the second largest fall in all of China. A lot of tourists as expected, but on the other side there are more, so I guess in a sense we are lucky to be on the Shanxi side of the fall. I hope you guys can hear me because the fall is pretty loud. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I uh, originally wanted to make it all the way to the beginning of the falls down there. Unfortunately, it's a little bit over flooded, and uh, even though it's pretty easy for me to get over there because there's a large piece of rock down there and I can just jump over, but the return trip is going to be quite 
difficult because there's no way I can make sure I can land perfectly on this rock here. Thus, I shall not be able to come back and uh, that's it for now then. Uh, just enjoy the scenery guys. AK out for now. Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, this is AK reporting from one of the restaurants sort of close to the hotel we stayed at. It's some it's like hot pot but a little different because they are using wood as the fuel source and that's the pot. It's gonna be chicken mostly and we added a few other vegetables and stuff in there. So yeah, they actually brought a whole tank over here to heat it up and get the fire started. It's pretty cool. All right, that's all for now. They're having a sales event with nobody attending. Annoying as shit. But we are having ice cream here, so things are going well.